What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another epic 10 opening. We're going to be opening up this Guilford the Lightning epic 10. This is going to be pretty awesome. 2005, I believe. We've got Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation Pack, Soul of the Duels, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Attorney. It's going to be crazy. And we're going to open up four maximum gold packs. Hopefully pull something cool out of there. The giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Black Lizard Soldier, Sacred Soldier, and Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you wanna see out of here or here. Let's start with the maximum gold, and then we're gonna go into the Guilford 10 and hopefully pull some crazy ultimate rare or something like that. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's see what we can pull out of gold. Zodiac Dryden't, and a Marshall Metal Marcher. I feel like that's almost always in like the first pack for some reason. So obviously we want to pull blue eyes if we can. That would be pretty epic. Oh, that was weird. Constellar Pledis. Zodiac Dryden again. Okay, that's kind of strange. Double Dryden. Two more. Let's see what we can do here. Make sure we're focused in. Alright, Queen of the Night. Noble Knight Brothers. Laundry Dragon Maid. And a House Dragon Maid. So double Dragon Maid pack. So far, nothing too crazy, but let's see what we can do. In the final pack, here we go. Trade in. Magical Meltdown. Constella Pletus. Again, we're getting like all the same cards. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Goes to Winter Cherries. That's probably the best card yet. Not bad, but not great. Okay, so gold didn't do too great for us, but that's okay. Because we have this Epic 10. So let's see if this Epic 10 can give us some sweet pulls. No, this is 2004. This isn't 2005. Yeah, 2005. No, this is 2005. Yeah, because 2004 had like Invasion of Chaos and stuff inside. Alright. See what we can do here. Let's see if we can get this open. Perfect. Alright, let's check out this promo. Can it be <laughs> undamaged? That's the question. Possibly. Go for the lightning. Hmm, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It might be a nice, a nice, definitely a near mint copy. So that's a nice. Let's get that over there. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, the packs we have. Well, we read off before Dark Beginning, Dark Revelation, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity. All are unlimited because Dark Beginning and Dark Revelation only come in unlimited. Because they're like the first reprint packs, pretty much. Okay. Let's stand that up. Let's do those two last. Let's start off with Rise of Destiny. Let's try and pull Dukoichi Ultimate Rare. That's been my goal. Never pulled one. Let's see if we can do it here. We have Harpy Lady number two, or two, not number two. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage Expert. Oh. Nightmare Penguin. Oh! We did pull an Ultimate Rare! Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. This is a really nice one, actually. That's sweet. Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. So I have pulled this before, but it was in first edition, which is even better. But Unlimited is actually pretty tough to find for Rise of Destiny, so that's pretty cool. Unlimited Dark Blade the Dragon Knight Ultimate Rare. That's a good start to this video. I wished for an epic Ultimate Rare, and we've already done it. Creator, Woodberg, and Patchy, and Moki Moki King. Wow, that's a good start. Let's go with... Flaming Eternity next. <laughs> Can you imagine if we pulled like three ulties in a row? Yeah, that's not going to happen. But we can dream. Like that Rise of Destiny video that I did a long time ago when we pulled five ulties. That was awesome. Benkai. Light Hex Sealed Fusion. Centrifugal Field. Insect Knight. It's a classic. Meteor of Destruction. Alright, there goes our hopes and dreams. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Poison Fangs and DD Dynamite. That's okay. We got a few more packs. We could pull blue eyes out of the dark beginning. That would be crazy. So, Soul of the Duelist. Here we go. Horus the Black Flame Dragon. Here we go. Give it to us. Mind Wipe. Red Eyes Bee Chick. Skull Dog Marin. Unshaven Angler. All right, come on. Hallowed Life Barrier. So, we got a super rare. Not a crazy one, but the ulti is actually worth a little bit, I think. Super rare Hallowed Life Barrier. Looks really good. The Wabaku ladies are on there. Dark Factory of Mass Production. And Horus' Servant. So we kind of got Horus. 
All right, two more packs. Dark Revelation Volume 1 and Dark Beginning 1. Here we go. Make sure you guys like this video if you're enjoying it. Make sure to subscribe because we have some more epic videos coming up. All right. Okay, the tip card's at the front. Let's see what it says. A monster that makes a good use of spell counters is the Apprentice Magician, a level 2 spellcaster effect monster. When he is summoned, you can add a spell counter to any card that can gain a spell counter. In addition, when destroying in battle, you can special summon any level 2 spellcaster from your deck in face down defense position. Continued on the back. Oh, there's our rare. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> no come on, tip card. Boo, the tip card ruined the suspense. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe they can't have a rare too. Okay, I'm not sure. We're just going to look. I, but that might have ruined it. Magical Plant Mandragola. Charm of Shabti. Death's Feral Imp. Helping Robo for Combat. Hesion Trap Hole. Arsenal Robber. Rageki Break. Dark Snake Syndrome. Okay, that should be it. Rod of Silence Chaos. And Cestus of Dogla. Okay. So that was kind of sad. <laughs> kind of ruined it. Okay. One more pack. We've had one epic pull so far. And we had a nice promo. So this has been a very successful 10. Can we finish it with a blue eyes from Dark Beginning 1? Here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Got another tip card, which ruined it last time. I think it's a different on here, though. Main phase two. If you're planning to set a monster this turn, instead of summon, you can wait until after your battle phase. See, I didn't know this until like 2018. When I was a kid, I did not know about main phase two. That way, if you attack your opponent has flip effect like Cyber Jar, your monster will still be in your hand and will not be destroyed. Then you can set it during main phase two. Okay, didn't ruin it there. Plan to attack with a new monster after summoning. Instead of setting it, you usually do it in main phase one. This can be risky, risky if your opponent has a trap card that can destroy your monsters. Good advice. See, like, that's an actual, like, helpful tip card. Sometimes they're, like, really, like, random. Nuvia the Wicked. We got a Sonic Bird. Banisher of the Light. Milked the Four-Faced Beast. I think if we had had Blue Eyes, it would have been at the front. Amazon Archer. Ceremonial Bell. Maybe not. Magical Hats. No! Type 0 Magic Crusher. Fairy Box. Chain Energy. Polymerization. That's cool. And a Confiscations in here. That's cool. Okay. So pretty good 10 overall, I'd say. Let's go over what we did get. We got two foils, one of them being an ultimate rare and a nice promo. So we got Hallowed Life Barrier, super rare. We got an ultimate rare, Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. And we got a nice promo, Guilford the Lightning. That was actually a really good 10. It was much better than the Raviel one we opened yesterday, if this is posted in the next day. I think it is. But yeah, so uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe because we have more crazy stuff coming up, like the 40K video, which will be out soon. Uh, ish I think so that there's a couple more crazy videos that you're gonna see like in a few weeks that I'm putting together It's gonna be pretty awesome. Also, if you want to support me use my TCG player and eBay affiliate links down below Appreciate all you guys doing that really helps me out and that's it for this video. See you guys later Peace oh! yes. well, oh. Elemental hero Dark Bright! Boom! Oh, <laughs>